The Eden Tower is proudly designed to not require any screws, any bolts. There's no need for Allen keys or screwdrivers. Everything kind of snaps into place with clips or just simple friction fits. That being said, it's important to make sure that everything is aligned properly and you don't force pieces in if they are not fitting. It could risk damaging the piece or breaking it entirely. Take out all of the plastic 90s as well as all the silicone tubes. Place those silicone tubes on three of the 90s like you see here. Locate the pump valve and place one of these assemblies onto one end of the valve and take the last 90 and push it into the tube that is open on that assembly like you see here. Take another assembly and push the tube on the open end of the 90 like you see here. Locate the pump and remove the contents until you find this little bag. Pull out the fitting with the smallest opening. You'll then easily screw into the pump and put the last assembly of tube and 90 onto the pump. Take a tray and flip it over. Take the previous assembly with the valve and push it into the water corner. Look for a small pillar that has a cutout and arrange it so that it fits with that opening to allow for those fittings. Take the pump and the cord and take the plug end of the cord and route it from the front to the back of the tray like you see in this video. Now locate the white power cord. Take the female end and now start on the back of the tray and push it out towards the top of the tray like you see here. Locate the reservoir. There are protrusions on the bottom as well as cutouts along the side. Take your pump, place it at the front and take your tray assembly holding the cords to make sure that they fit in the deepest cutout at the back. You'll also notice that the pillars have the same profile at the, as the bottom protrusions on the reservoir. Line them up, push the cords inside the reservoir underneath the tray so they do not get pinched. Ensure that all of the clips are over the reservoir and do this all the way along before you attempt to clip it into the reservoir. Also make sure that the cords are not pinched. Start by pushing from corner to corner until you hear a click and then make sure that all of the clips go around the entire reservoir. You will hear some snaps and that is not a problem. It is to ensure that the tray is clipped well in place around the entire reservoir. Connect your pump to the valve. Take your reservoir lid as well as your water gauge and the cap. Locate the small hole at the front and place the gauge through that, putting the cap on top, making sure that it moves freely and place this over your reservoir. Then take the access door and place it on top. Take the female electric cover as well as the dummy pillar. Notice that there's cutouts of different lengths and clips of different lengths on both of these. Make sure that both of them align. If they don't, then flip it around and make sure the profiles are good. Once you find this, take the cord and run it through the dummy pillar and push it into the tray rocking side to side. Take your cover and align it to the cord and push it into place. The water pillar has ribs and an opening. The silicone fitting top has cutouts that match this, these ribs. Push the fitting inside making sure that it aligns with the ribs. If you find this difficult you can help lubricate it with Vaseline. Make sure that it's pushed down all the way and it isn't folded. Then place it inside the corner of the reservoir with the ribs faced outward. When placing any of the pillars into the tray corners, make sure to wiggle back and forth. Do not force the pillars in or you could risk cracking something. To make assembly easier, you can use a lubricant like Vaseline and put it on the silicone fittings like you see here and that'll make pushing the pillars much easier. Flip the tray over and on the bottom at the water pillar you can place the silicone fitting bottom piece. The tray has clips that are in a rectangle that matches the rectangle profile of the light. Push it into place making sure that it doesn't fall out. Aligning the cutouts with the ribs on the bottom of the water pillar. Push it into place rocking side to side. Grab a three-way plug. 
make sure that the male end matches the female end profile and push it into place completely to the bottom. Grab the plug from your light and plug it into the three-way plug. We're then going to repeat this for all of our layers. Take the silicone top fitting, push into the water pillar. Make sure that the ribs are faced outward. That way everything will align for the next layer. Take a electric pillar and the male end, making sure that the prongs will align and push it into place. Put your water fitting on the bottom of the tray as well as push your lights into place. Ensure that the water pillars line up with the cutouts and rock it side to side into place. Don't push it too hard. Take the three-way plug, align the prongs and push it down all the way to the bottom and plug in the light. On your last layer, it's gonna look like you're missing a water pillar and you'll have a dummy pillar, but this is intentional. This is actually gonna go over the water corner on the final layer. Push it into place as well as the electrical female end. Push the lights into place and this will just make it easier to set up so that you don't have to reach as high. Put the final three-way plug in and push everything in place ensuring everything aligns. Take your three-way at the very top, push it into place and plug in your lights and finally put your light cover over the very top. The tray lids are a little bit longer on one side than the other and you'll notice because the side with the clips is going to not fit over if this is a case simply flip it 180 and all of the lids will fit properly do this for all of the remaining lids